Okay. We need to pull her up in the Groundbreaking ceremony of the Carpentry Department of Human Services and Police Department Complex. My name is Edward Wazika. I'm the interim town manager. Could everyone please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Carpentry High School Navy Junior ROTC? Officer Medeiros will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everyone please remain standing for the invocation by Father Nicholas Fleming, the Coventry Police Chaplain. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless our work, that you bless the men and women who serve this town of Coventry and the work that they do to protect and serve our people. We ask that as we commemorate this new building, that we commemorate and encourage those who serve in it. We ask this in your good, good in your goodness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Before we start this morning, I would like to acknowledge our distinguished guest speakers. Joining us this morning will be Glenford Shibley, the town council president, Bill Finnegan, the chairman of the building committee. Bob Robillard, the Director of the Department of Human Services, and Colonel John McDonald, Chief of the Police Department. I'd also like to acknowledge Thomas Heatherman and Julie Letty, members of the Building Committee, as well as members of the School Committee and uh, Town Council. I'd also like to welcome all of our honored guests, town employees, town residents, representatives of Tower Construction and Edward Rose Rouse Architect, members of the press, friends, family, volunteers. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come here today. The support is deeply appreciated. I'd like to invite Council President uh, Mr. Shibley to come to the podium to formally open today's activities. Mr. Shibley. I'm usually louder than I need to be. Good morning, everyone. Uh, great turnout. Um, appreciate your attendance on a very proud day. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the town council, I want to thank especially all the voters of Coventry that came out two years ago overwhelmingly in support of this bond issue so that this project can take place and will happen. 
very soon. Without their support, it wouldn't have happened. In fact, before the 2016 vote, once or twice, it was not approved. I know Colonel McDonald and Mr. Kuypers and his friends of law enforcement and human services all got together along with the council and all the residents and, and approved this project. I, uh, I go back to my folder and it was the best $96 that I ever spent with a reminder message to all country voters and the reminder, be a real superhero on election day and vote yes on question A. More than 60% approval. Well spent $96. I also want to acknowledge that this effort has been a total team effort. And I, I'm talking about total team effort. All our department heads, uh, we had DPW working like crazy to when we found out that the human services had to be removed from this facility and continue on and within a month and the notice was made and the move was made and they set up and it's working uh, great right down the street temporarily until they can enter the new building which will be magnificent. DPW helped, Human Services, Mr. Robillard, I know he'll be speaking later. Uh, special thanks to uh, our acting town manager, Edward Zika, has been seeing this through uh, almost from the beginning. And, and, and definitely I want to um, also thank, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our former town council, uh, or town manager, I should say, Graham Waters. Um, I know he was here, he uh, put together the building committee, he interviewed, uh, I have an email from him dated February 2017, he said he had a lot of good candidates, in the end the committee members he selected had successful previous experience with town building projects and or knowledge related to commercial construction industry, he picked well, and I can say that. Very proud of our building committee. I know Mr. Finnegan will be speaking later on that. And also I want to thank both our architect, Ted Rouse, uh, Rouse Architect, and, and, and also our uh, contractor, the Tower Construction Corporation. We're working uh, in, in tandem, again, team effort, uh, like the Red Sox and the Patriots. I just want to say also, because I know there's other speakers, and it is chilly out here, but how I consider law enforcement such a very noble profession. I can say that from experience, because I actually spent more than 30 years studying with Arlington County, Virginia Police, working for the Rhode Island Police Chiefs for over three years as Executive Director, and working at the Municipal Academy for almost 30 years training many, many good law enforcement officers. Several are here today. Several have already been police chief and retired. I also have two sons in law enforcement. There is no more noble profession than law enforcement. And with that said, I think I'll have a seat. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your votes. And thank you for your support. Thank you, Mr. Shibley, and yes, my legs are still sore from those nine-mile runs at the Academy. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, uh, our next speaker is going to be Bill Finnegan, President of the Coventry Lumber, as well as Chairman of the Coventry DHS PD Building Committee. Mr. Finnegan. threatened three times to be very short when I came up here. If you heckle me, Tom, I'll be even longer. I, 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 I don't write speeches, I'll try to be short. And uh, a lot of people have already been thanked. And I, I want to let you know that the building committee, uh, Tom Heatherman and Julie, could you both stand up? I don't know if everyone knows you two. Julie, Julie and Tom and I, 
committee, and uh, they've done a phenomenal job of getting us to this point. Uh, you can have a seat. That's all. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, but I want to just give you a little background quickly, and I want you to know that this project is going to be completely transparent, and the only misleading piece of the project is this today. This obviously isn't the groundbreaking ceremony. We've already broke ground, uh, so we're way ahead of the, uh, the, the, the work from that standpoint. Uh, I want you to know that the committee gets together every two weeks on site uh, for a project meeting. We have a detailed schedule week by week. Uh, early on, there was a, uh, some issues that we had to work with that resulted in a f uh, four or five day delay that was excruciatingly painful, that we renegotiated the completion date, but this project, we feel confident right now as we come out of the ground with the demolition done and a lot of the remedi remediation done, that the biggest questionables that could come up in the project are close to being behind us. And all of the uh, surprises that we've gotten because we had such a, gr a great contractor, and I'll get to that, the, the uh, unexpected were covered in the allowances already. This project is on track. We're going to be done in by the end of July of 19. It is on budget. It may even be a little bit under budget, but we're, we're committing to on budget. And I, I assure you, everyone is working very, very hard every day, every week, watching every dollar, watching everything that's going on to make this uh, a great public uh, project, a great project for the town. I can, as, as Glenn said, the DPW, the town, Department of Human Services, the police department, I, I can't tell you I'm a taxpayer in town, I live in town. Uh, you hear a lot of rumors and you hear a lot of uh, gossip of stuff that isn't accurate. I can tell you being at the helm of it, that it's a complete group effort and it's something that as a taxpayer, every one of us should be proud of because every department is pulling together. Uh, the high school is even here today helping out with the food, and it's just across the board something that you want to see in a town like that. Uh, the, 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 the committee at the very beginning, we had to go through the process of selecting the right architect, and we interviewed, I forget how many firms, but we settled in on uh, Ed, Edward Rouse Architects. Uh, Ted Rouse is here, and Jim Podrick, who's the point person. If you, do, if you wouldn't mind, guys, stand up. These are guys that are very influential. Uh, they, they did a great job. That's uh, uh, they, 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 did, they did a great job of assessing the needs. They had a lot of meetings with the, uh, the colonel and the police department, and at the time, DHS, and, and someone that got caught up in an awful lot that she didn't sign up for is Kathy Pendola, and I saw her coming in. Kathy, you did a great job. Uh, she, 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 she had little to no interest in being involved in that process, but she did a phenomenal job and got it delivered so far uh, down the road. Not to take anything away from Director Robillard, who was doing a phenomenal job, who the moment he stepped in, took the hard work. Kathy did of uh, negotiating the plans, and while it didn't satisfy everything that everybody wanted, it's a great facility. It's going to service DHS in the community, and it's certainly going to uh, service the police department in a great way. Uh, the colonel had a great team that was there at every meeting, negotiating, working out the, the floor plan of the building, and it was just a, a great collaborative effort that everyone should be very appreciative of. So, uh, after, after we got the, the design done, we went out to bid and had a number of contractors interested in it. And we made, in our opinion so far, and I'm confident it'll be the same in next August after we're wishing them well on their next project, but Tower Construction and uh, Al Pujols and um, Dennis Blanchard. They're over here, guys. Step, just step forward from here. <laughs> These are the gentlemen that are, that are uh, Dennis is here every day. I think, uh, I don't know, I don't see him on the cameras. The police department put monitors up, so we, uh, I believe he's here every day. But from the work that he's accomplished, I think he is. And Tower's doing a phenomenal job of being responsible in the management of the time, of the budget, of the quality. Uh, thank you very much, guys. You're doing a great job.
So, I, if I forgot anybody, I don't think I did. I apologize if I did. Uh, but the, oh, one thing, I, I wish he was here. Kathy, what was uh, I forget his name. But when we had a the, sort of the kickoff meeting with the uh, senior DHS, we had a meeting in the old building, and one of the gentlemen who I understand from Julie, he's moved out of Coventry, but he stood up and he had a, a very pointed question to me to say, can you tell me in one year that I'll be standing right here next year back uh, back in the same spot? And I said, I can't guarantee you it'll be the same spot, but you'll be back here in a year. And I wish he was here because the way the floor plan worked out, he would have ended up in the exact same spot. <laughs> We've got a great project and we're happy to be doing it. The town should be very proud. We've got a lot of great department heads that are working together to get this done with us and we're well on our way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Uh, you see the signs on the road all over the place, uh, on budget, on time. Bill and the uh, entire building committee have made sure that this project will be done on time and on budget. He's one of the most frugal people I've ever met. They're doing a fantastic job, and I thank them for all the work they, they do and all the time they've given up in their personal lives for uh, donating that time to the town. So thank you again. I'd like to ask our director of uh, Department of uh, Human Services to come up next and give a, uh, a few words about his department and what this building's gonna do for them. Mr. Bob Robolot. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you took half of my speech, so I, I don't really have a lot to say. Every, pretty much everybody you thanked, I was going to thank, so I'm not going to rethank them. They all know how, how much uh, building a community means. I worked 24 years in this building. It's come a long way, and it's coming even further now that we're going to have collaborated services in the same building. I'm really looking forward to having uh, a even closer working relationship with all the department heads in uh, our, de our, our fine town, the police department uh, and uh, my department. Our staff work closely every single day. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. We're going to actually do it in a really great place. Um, and we're looking to expand services uh, within this town uh, and make uh, this a multi-use uh, site at some point um, for families, people with disabilities, um, our residents at large. Um, it's kind of funny because I, I have this, this speech and the one person that I really wanted to thank and, um, is, is um, Kathy Pendola for making this whole process possible. And you're right, she did not want to do it, but she did a hell of a job. So this groundbreaking is a really exciting time for our department, for our town. We need good press. We do good work. We need to celebrate the stuff that we do. We have incredible first responders in this town that people only see when they need to be first responded to. Um, and the, the respect of all the department heads within this town and all of the great seniors that have voted with all of our taxpayers to make sure this is going to happen is going to make a huge difference from now into the future for this great town of Coventry, so thank you. Thank you, Bob. You and your staff have done a fantastic <laughs> job. It's nice having you back. Thank you. And our last speaker, so we can get this thing on the road, <laughs> is going to be the Colonel, who has uh, been waiting for his moment. Colonel John McDonald, police chief. Yeah. I did write down a few things. I don't want to leave anybody out. I'm going to cover some of the same ground, but um, just bear with me. I know it's cold. My hands are cold, too. <laughs> so good morning. Welcome, friends, family, town leaders. You are here, fellow staff. I want to recognize some fellow law enforcement, the chiefs that are here. Chief Ed Mello from Jamestown. Chief Rick Ramsey from West Greenwich. Our executive director from the Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association, Sid Wardell, who's the retired chief from Little Compton, Chief Katie from Western Coventry, our school committee and town council and the, and the building committee. Thanks for attending. First, I, I want to start by um, commending our town leadership for supporting this effort. I want to thank the members of the council who allowed the project to move forward in 2016 to a bond vote. You showed great faith in allowing us to move forward to achieve what we've done so far. 
and we commit again today to seeing this project through to a successful conclusion on time and on budget, as Bill said. In particular, I want to thank Town Council President Shibley for his unwavering support for law enforcement and this much needed building effort. Thank you for all, to all the town staff who've helped us get to this point, including Ed Wazika, Bob Robillard, Kevin McGee, Greg Levis, and our former finance director, Bob Tebow, who's no longer with the town. I'd also like to thank and recognize Kathy Bendola for her leadership during the DHS transition. I also want to thank uh, several people who I'm lucky to call the friends of Coventry Police. Bill Casacolenda, Bill Marcotte, Bobby DePadua, Paul Parento, and Jim Kuypers. You all made a significant contribution to getting out the positive message during our Question 8 bond effort. In particular, uh, Paul and Jim, who worked relentlessly to ensure our message reached far and wide. We understand, after the previous attempt, in 2014, we couldn't go it alone. And we would not be here today without gifted community partners and law enforcement supporters like you gentlemen. So thank you. Next, I want to sincerely thank the members of the building committee, Bill Finnegan, Tom Heatherman, and Julie Letty, who we've introduced. After the bond was approved, you took over and handled a few hurdles along the way to getting us here today. I can't express how grateful I am for that. Bill is the center of gravity and the unequivocal leader of the building effort. Without his leadership, we're not standing here today. And he came only along with Tom Heatherman, who also brings his own special brand of toughness to this effort. Both Bill and Tom have talked me off the ledge more than once over the last year, so I personally thank them for their friendship and their expertise in this project. To Julie Letty, uh, mostly I knew you through your impeccable reputation before we collaborated on this, and now I know why everyone speaks so highly of you. Uh, I've been really impressed by you and your professional expertise, and you brought a ton to this project, so thank you. You three are both uh, a great team, and we're all lucky to have you on this project, so thanks. Um, thanks to our internal building committee, many of those who, who are here today and the Edward Rouse team, Ted and, and uh, Jim and Andrew, appreciate it. You all worked really hard on redesigning this school into a new vision, and it took a long time and we got there. Uh, I want to thank my law enforcement partners, some of whom are here, who supported the research and information and tours of their facilities, including Colonel Anna Stumpko of the State Police, Chief St. Sever in Smithfield, and Chief Mello from Jamestown. Thank you. Appreciate the support. I also want to thank the construction team, Dennis and Al. We're looking forward to the tower uh, to seeing this build, uh, building come to fruition. A big thank you to our community who recognized the need and supported us with a resounding 60% approval for question eight. This will be your police department, your human services, and your senior center of the future. We look forward to more public access, enhanced communication, better services, and we recommit ourselves to working together with our community to see this through as a combined services complex. To our officers and civilian staff at Coventry Police, my duty as your chief is to work hard every day to provide you with quality training, modern equipment, and good leadership. My first priority was our aging facility. It was the number one morale issue for my entire career and long before that. It gives me great pride to stand here today and say that we're closer than ever to making that vision a reality. So on behalf of the members of the Coventry Police Department, past, present, and future, thank you for the honor and the privilege of standing here today as your chief. And I look forward to seeing our officers utilize this complex in the future, combining services, caring for Coventry with strength, honor, and integrity. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. Yes. We are uh, now going to do the ceremonial groundbreaking. We're going to have uh, members come up. You can put a hot hat on and uh, stick a shovel in the ground.
They did do a much better job on planning it than throwing a shovel of dirt. So. <laughs> Got it. Right. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to today's ceremony, and a very special thank you to the Coventry High School Navy Junior ROTC for the presentation and retiring of the college. Another very special thank you to the, Co uh, the Coventry High School Culinary Arts Program for sending all of the uh, refreshments that you're about to have in this program. Thank you, everyone. Father Fleming will now perform the benediction. <laughs> I'm ask you to please stand. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the source of all blessings, be with you all. The work we are beginning today should enliven our faith and make us grateful. We know the familiar words of the psalm, if the Lord does not build the house in vain to its builder's labor. Whenever we look to the interests of our neighbor or the community and serve them, we are in a sense God's own co-workers. Let us pray then for his help through this celebration, my brothers and sisters, that God will bring this construction to successful completion and that his protection will keep those who work on it safe from injury. Let us pray. All-powerful and all-merciful Father, you have created all things through your Son and have made him the unshakable foundation of your kingdom. Through the gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that the undertaking we begin today for your glory and for our own well-being may progress day by day to its successful completion. <coughs> we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Would the Junior ROTC please retire the colors? This concludes today's ceremonies. Would everybody please enjoy some refreshments? Stick around, talk to uh, people. We're going to be here for a bit. Thank you for coming.